April does look highly likely to be cold. So we'll see if that delays the melt perhaps at uh, medium and high elevations a little bit. Spring is underway and the forecast is looking like Thompson Okanagan residents will be waiting a little longer to pull out their lighter clothing, predicting for the weather to be a little chillier longer than normal. The month of April, the category that is being chosen as the most likely outcome is most likely cold. So we're, we're forecasting, which is kind of unusual. Even a colder April is going to be warmer than a warm March. We're in that time of year where we're, the temperature from day to day is increasing if you look at the average. Long range forecasts for the rest of spring and the start of summer are sitting on the fence between warm and cold. No category was chosen here so it's all three being equal near, above or below which is sitting the fa fence a little bit. So that means to me, if it keeps backing off, we might eventually end up in the warm category. A cooler spring does mean that there can be more time for levels in Okanagan late to be lowered, but can also later present challenges. That becomes a positive thing in, in terms of the, we can draw the lake down more uh, in anticipation of when that water comes in. We just have a longer time to draw the lake down. Um, whereas uh, the longer that the freshet takes to uh, start because it's colder, um, the higher the risk of getting a, a hot spell or rain on snow that would again cause an issue with some of the tributaries, the creeks uh, and streams that flow into um, Okanagan Lake and into the rivers. Even with a high level of snowpack this year, water managers are feeling that they're at a better place at this time to handle what could come. And there could even be a downgrade for inflow forecasting. And you know, we had a, a 120% of normal was our uh, Okanagan Snow Basin Index for March 1st. Uh, and uh, that was higher than we saw last year. But a lot of that snow really is, is at the higher elevations. And so, uh, you know, we don't see a lot of lower elevation snow. So that impacts our sort of uh, qualitative analysis about what's going on out there. A little bit more comfortable place than I think we were last year at this time. There's still, again, we still have a few months that, uh, that could be either stay very dry or we could start getting some, you know, weather events. The lack of rain isn't a good sign for everyone, though, as meteorologists would like to see more precipitation in the area to help out with the dry season. Oh, I'm worried more about the fire weather right now, right? Because you hear about all these grass fires and the fact that we aren't getting very much rain right now. But there's the flip of that, that if we delay the snow melt, then it's coming later at the high, mid and high elevations. It's coming later, pushed more into the season where it can be warmer for longer periods. So that's a little concerning. So there's mixed signals there, right? It's really dry right now, but a delay in the melt might cause some problems later. For Castanet News, I'm Casey Richardson.